Hi everyone, Ryan here with hollypower.com and today I want to show you how to use sequences within convert Kit. Now, sequences are a very powerful feature of ConvertKit and one of the very best things about the software. Um, it's good primarily for two reasons. Firstly, it will help you to build a much better relationship with your clients, sending them far better targeted emails that you know they're going to be interested in, which is wonderful. And secondly, it's good because it's going to save you a truckload of time and effort. And anything that can save time and effort has got to be a good thing as far as I'm concerned. So let's have a look at how they work. So we'll go over into the sequences tab here. And we start by creating a sequence, would you believe? Here we go. Now, we're going to give it a name, so I'm going to call this um, Win a Spa Day Sequence. And the reason I'm going to call it that is we're going to assume that this is a sequence of emails which gets sent out after someone completes a form on my website to try and win a spa day. Okay? So, simple as that. Now... Basically, what a sequence is, is it is a series of emails which get sent out one after the other. You can determine the distance in between them and the content of them. And everyone who opts in through a given form gets sent that series of emails. So again, to use our example... We're going to suggest that someone has completed a form on how to on a, a competition to win a spa day on my website, and they automatically then start this sequence of emails within ConvertKit. I only have to write this sequence of emails once, and it will get sent out automatically to everyone who completes the form. How cool is that? So let's have a little look. So let's start off. With, I'm just going to uh, pop in here. Um, So, congratulations, thanks, your name is in the hat, okay? Now, then we write out an email here, and blah, 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 okay? It doesn't matter what this email says for now, but obviously you want to send out something which is related to whatever form they have completed. Now, we'd say when we want it to send out, you might want to send it out a day after, you might want to send it immediately, and you can see here, you can also choose which days of the week you do or don't want it to go on. So let's say, for example, you're closed every Monday. You might not want to send out emails that might prompt someone to call you if you know you're not going to be there to answer your phone. Or if they're calling for last minute booking, you know that you're not going to be able to help them. So you might not want to send them on Mondays for argument's sake. Okay? easy. Um, so that's fine. You can then have a look and see what that looks like. It'll give you a little browser view of it. There we go. There's our email. Great. Okay. So there we go. There's our first email. You always have to change it from draft to published. That basically is you saying, yep, I'm happy with that. Let's go. Now, this is where the beauty comes in. Everyone who fills out your form is going to receive this email. They're going to receive it immediately. So the second they sign up, bang, they're going to get this email. Now, I'm going to write another one. And I'm going to send this two days later. Now, what you want to do now um, is contact them and offer them something different. Now, what you really want to do here is you want to send something which is related to the previous email you've sent, okay? And you might want to have a series here, I don't know, five, six emails, something like that. <clears throat> now, the reason you will want to do that is because this gives you a chance to build um, credibility and build a relationship with your new clients, okay? They have completed a form on your website. It could be a form for anything. It could be a free giveaway. It could be a competition. It might be a guide that you've written that you're giving away. It could be anything, okay? Um, and then you've got all these opportunities and you can, as I say, change these so that you might want to have them um, sent out after X number of days. You can also uh, add a filter, which is brilliant. So you can actually say, well, actually, I don't want these group of people to get this email, which is quite powerful as well. 
Of course, you can choose what days they go on, uh, but it just gives you an opportunity to warm these people up. If you know they filled out a form about product X, then you might want to then continue to reference that in the later emails that you send. And you only have to do this one time and then it will automatically send this string of emails out every time for you, okay? This is really powerful stuff. You can also go in and you can save a few bits. Oops, let's actually um, save that first and go into the settings. So you can see, oh, I can change the name here. You can say, you can set who you're gonna send the emails as. You can set what days, what time roughly that you want to send it as well. And as I say, if you really want to, you can exclude certain people from the sequence. So, or as I say, by certain emails. So if you're selling about, if you're putting a bit in there about selling a product, then you might specifically want to exclude people who you know have already bought that product. Make sense? Fab. Now, one other way you also will then want to use this is when you're doing a form, so let's go into this form here. Here's one I made earlier. Down here in your main settings, this is the part where you can add a sequence. So you can see now here, win a spa day sequence. And now, there it is, anyone who goes through this form will get sent that sequence of emails. Powerful stuff this, one of the best features of ConvertKit. Um, and as I say, just give a bit of thought. You might probably want to plan out what emails you want to send first, and then you can really have a great impact with your clients, uh, warming them up before you look to uh, sell them something. So uh, I hope that's been helpful. If it has, please leave us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel where there's loads of other ConvertKit videos. I'm Ryan for hollypower.com. See ya.